using timestamps in YouTube, you might have already seen that you can share a video starting from a specific time. For instance, start at, and notice here the link says that it started nine seconds in, and you could change the time here, or you could play the video from the time you want to start. But let's say that you want to share a long video and you want to share a list of timestamps, kind of like a table of contents. In your own video, you could do that within the description or in the comments. If you're using someone else's video, you could do it in the comments. And I'm going to do it to this Zoom video here. I'm going to play until I get to a subject and I'll put the timestamp down here with the subject. Okay, right about one minute 52 in, they're talking about using Zoom for inclement weather. So in the comments, I'll type 1 colon 52 inclement weather. And you don't see a link yet. The, the hyperlink won't add until I put in the comment. And of course, I have to have the timing um, format correct as well. We're going to play it some more and listen for another subject. Okay, the next subject is at about 2.15. Be anywhere with any device. Okay, so I have several timestamps posted here. I'll go ahead and click comment to finish my comment. I'll tap read more here. And as you can see, they all turn to hyperlinks. So that means anyone could come along and maybe tap on the eight and the video would jump to that place. And notice that's where I am in the video. And this works not only within YouTube viewing, but you could share this other places. You could paste this into a Word document or an Outlook email. I'm going to try to put it in a Google Doc and let's see what happens. I'm going to copy all this. I left click and drag, right click, copy. Now within Google Docs, I'll hit paste and notice the hyperlinks here. So if someone is in Google Docs and they click on 611, then it jumps to that place in the video and it opens up YouTube for me.